When you reach the ground, your tower experience isn't over. Check out our Skies Over Texas 4D Theater experience and take a high-flying adventure over the Lone Star State. You'll take in the sights of Texas high school football's Friday Night Lights and get up close and personal with a bucking bull at the rodeo, all without leaving your seat. Grab a snack, drink, or something sweet at the Tower Cafe and bring home a San Antonio or Tower of the Americas souvenir from our expansive gift shop with a wide variety of memorabilia and collectibles. Tower of the Americas and Chart House Restaurant are operated by Landry's Incorporated. Be sure to try Landry's other dining destinations in the Alamo City, including Landry's Seafood and Rainforest Cafe on the Riverwalk, Morton Steakhouse at River Center Mall, and five Metro Salt Grass Steakhouse locations. Thanks for visiting. We hope to see you again soon. YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap, smack, toss, throw, kick, punch, chop. That notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. I took a little impromptu trip to a, uh, a store. Okay, just to say what's up and everything. See what was going on. And um, I stumbled upon some early looks. So you want to pay close attention to these early looks so first early look I'm going to give you is the Jordan 3 Knicks that are dropping this Saturday now truth be told I was not paying attention to this sneaker I was not paying attention to it it uh, kind of popped up on my radar uh, late last week or so and I didn't ask any questions I didn't inquire about it at the stores I didn't research it online anything like that I was kind of like oh okay Nick's colorway haven't we done this before hmm interesting but I got a chance to look at these in my opinion the quality is a one now a lot of you aren't going to like this shoe because it's a general release it's a general release and I know how you all are about general releases I can't make any money off of it so I don't care but those of you who buy sneakers because you're going to wear them and you simply like them, you're going to love this sneaker, hands down. So, what's the story behind the Knicks Jordan 3 release? Basically, there's a rivalry pack that they're doing, a rivalry theme, if you will, where Jordan Brand is going to be releasing colorways of some of his key opponents throughout his career. If you know your 90s NBA basketball, you know the Bulls and the Knicks battle basically Patrick Ewing does not have an NBA championship because of Michael Jordan and the Bulls he kicked them out the playoffs pretty much every time however there was one series where it looked like the Bulls were in trouble it looks like the Bulls are in trouble and I remember this was a wild series in my opinion it might have been the best series of Michael Jordan's career because they really came after the Bulls. They came after. And you're talking about total team play. This was a, this was a game where I want to say if Scottie Pippen didn't play the way he did, history might be a little different. Because he got busy. Starks and Ewan, they got really physical with the Bulls. Mason and those guys. I mean, this was... 90s NBA basketball, super physical, not this little pity pad. We're just going to score 100 points and or 110 or 120 and see who could, uh, you know, outscore each other. No, there was defense being played. 
there was a lot of shoving, pushing, elbowing, you name it. Trash talking was going down. These guys generally did not like each other on the court. And um, it kind of started with Starks. John Starks essentially had enough of the Bulls doing what they wanted to do in the East. And he came to play. He had that infamous dunk on Scotty. And I think it was um, Grant and MJ were near the rim. Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, Scotty said, okay, you put us on Sports Center. I got a problem with that. Don't worry, Mike. I got this. I got this. Because Mike was having a, a fairly average night to be Michael Jordan. It was, it was nothing electric going on in that game. He was doing his due, which meant that uh, the other players had to step it up, namely Pippen. So Pippen playing in the manner that he plays, he needed a moment where he dunked on Patrick Ewing and he shoved him. If you own those up-tempos, they actually dedicated a Pippen up-tempo colorway to that infamous dunk. You look in the insole, you see that. So, yeah. I, I would encourage you to get both pair of shoes because of the, the the symbolism of that game. But, yes, I will say Patrick Jordan does not have an NBA title because of the Chicago Bulls of the 90s that he had to go through. And um, they, they, they basically said in that series, we had enough. You know, there's going to be no sweeps. There's going to be none of that four and one stuff. You know, we, we're not doing that. You know, none of that stuff. We, we're going to um, we're going to take you the length, okay? We're going to test you. And it came out to play. So let's talk about the materials on there. Basic Jordan three setup, same box, all that good stuff. Now, when the thing that sets this particular three apart is the tumble leather. When I saw the pictures, I was kind of like, mm, okay. White with orange and blue hits, royal blue hits, which I like. I like that colorway. I like it. it it's a very um, nostalgic sports team colorway. A lot of teams wear blue and orange. You know, it's kind of one of those things. It goes well. So, you know, you think about Syracuse and Morgan State, the Illinois, all these um, great programs with that blue and orange to just to name a few some of the bigger names so you got that set up and everything but if you take a good look at the tumble leather on there you're gonna go wow this is good stuff this is good stuff on here now it's slightly better than the mocha threes which had good leather on there the problem with the mocha threes is that they were just a lot of them which you all hate i can't sell them everybody has those you know how that goes. I don't really want to wear them. I just want to buy a pair to sell them. Like I was saying, uh, both sneakers are retailing at 190, and um, there's no quick strike any of that stuff, so you can get max dollar. You can get all your discounts, max dollar discounts on these particular sneakers. I'm not sure if the um, the Knicks or those uh, Game Royal 12s are releasing on base. I need to go and look and see if they put a sign up for it and uh, check that out. I was supposed to go on base earlier. I didn't. I didn't make it. I've been running around taking care of other stuff. But let me know how you feel about this sneaker, man. Let me know. And uh, we'll chop it up down in the comments. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button and drop in. Tell a friend, tell a friend to join the channel. I, I know everyone. I've been pretty stagnant as of late. I'm back in school, and these professors are not playing with your man. And I expect nothing less. Okay, that's important. YouTube is somewhere down there. I'll, I'll get to the videos. Not that I don't have videos ready for you guys, but, yeah. Editing and all that good stuff. I got classwork to do, and I'm out of here. Boom.
the solution.